This video will walk you through how to access the ebook from Launchpad. When you log into your Launchpad account, click into your existing course. Click on Enter Your Course, and this will take you to the homepage of Launchpad. To access the ebook, expand the section you like to read and click on an ebook link. On the ebook page, you can scroll down. Using your cursor, you can highlight a particular section. And you can also color coordinate your highlight. In this case, I'll add a yellow highlight. And for every highlight that I can create, I can certainly add a note. Click on Save. All your existing notes and highlights will get deposited into the notebook section. From here, you can filter your highlights by color. You can also sort by newest to oldest, oldest to newest. To get to the next ebook page, I just go ahead and click on the next button. It'll take me to the next page here. If I want to get back to the home page, I'll go ahead and click on home in the top left corner. On the Launchpad homepage in the top right hand corner, you'll hover over the help feature. A menu option will appear and you have access to download the student edition and the teacher's edition of the ebook. This is just an alternative way to access the ebook from here. You'll want to make sure that your pop-up blockers are disabled before you click on this link, and a new browser tab will pop up here. We actually partner with Vital Source to host our ebook content, so I'll go ahead and click on Save for this cookie policy. And at this point, it's going to prompt me to create credentials, in this case, Vital Source ebook credentials. I'll go ahead and put in my email address. Now I'm moving forward through account creation. So I'll go ahead and put in my first name, my last name, put in my password, select your security question, type in your security answer. When you're done, click on finish. And this will sign you directly into the Vital Source ebook. You'll see this icon right here, which is your library. So if you have other textbooks with Bedford Freeman with publishers, you'll see them listed in your library. Right under that, you'll have your table of contents, which you can get to specific sections from this view. So if I go ahead and click on part one, click on the big picture. From there, I can scroll through. And there's also going to be this arrow button to get to the next ebook page. Back to the left navigation bar, you'll see a magnifying glass. This is where you can search for specific terms within the book. Click on enter. This will give me a list of my results. For instance, if I click on my first search result, this will take me to the ebook page. Right underneath the magnifying glass, you'll have access to your notebook from here as well. All of your notes and highlights are going to be centralized in one notebook. Right under that is our figures. Any of the textbook images and figures and charts will be consolidated in one area. Underneath the figures, click on flashcards. Click on the plus icon to create a new deck of cards. Click on save. And I can certainly add virtual cards to that deck. So I'll put the term on the front, add images that I needed to, and the definition on the back of the card. Click on save once I'm finished. At the bottom, there's a horizontal navigation bar as well. As students are reading the text, that bar tends to go away. All you have to do is click on that arrow in the right hand corner there, and that will pull it back up. I can type in the page number that I wish to navigate to. If I wanted to bookmark specific pages, I can certainly do so. I can scroll through to get to specific ebook pages. Use the print icon to print out pages directly from the ebook. I can also enhance the formatting. So if I wanted to increase the size of the text, I can certainly do so. Change the default font to open dyslexic. If I have students with dyslexia in the classroom. I can switch this to day mode to night toned to sepia. Change the margin size. Can condense the text, double space it, triple space it. These are the formatting options possible here in the ebook. Right next to that, and click on the read aloud feature. An automated voice will read out to students. 
And I can go ahead and click on the settings icon to adjust the reading speed to make it slower or faster, depending upon my preference. This is another way to make fast highlights. So I'll go ahead and click on that, choose a color. And if I just use my cursor, it'll allow me to make a quick highlight from there. I can also cite specific sections within the book. It'll give me formatting options for MLA, APA, Harvard, Vancouver format. You can also download the ebook for offline use navigate to the library. From here, I can click on download our app. Click on save. You can download the app using an iOS, Android, Kindle Fire, Mac, PC, and Chromebook system. Because I'm using a Windows system, I'll go ahead and download. Click on save file. Click on the downloads arrow. Run the file and follow the prompts. I'm going to select English as my language, click on OK, and then I'll continue forward to finish installation. I'll go ahead and click on Finish. I'll minimize my browser. You'll be able to see the Vital Source Bookshelf app on my desktop. Click in. This is where I'm going to log in with my Vital Source ebook credentials. I'll go ahead and click on sign in. The system is recognizing that I already have a textbook in my account, so I'll go ahead and click on download to download my textbook. My textbook has now downloaded for offline use. You'll notice in the right hand corner, I get a message that my download was successful and has completed. Click into that ebook. A window will pop up and you'll be able to see the ebook content from here. I can also download the application on a mobile device, also on a tablet. You'll want to navigate to the App Store and search for Vital Source Bookshelf to download the application. I'm going to go ahead and head back into my Launchpad course. If you have questions or need assistance with accessing or downloading your ebook, you can go ahead and hover over the Help feature, click on High School Support. You'll be given an option to either search our knowledge base. You can also contact customer support.